and welcome back to my channel. So today's video we're going to be doing a, another little speed clean with me. You love them and do you know what? I love filming them. Today I'm going to show you how I speed clean a lot of my furniture. Most of the house is already clean so today we're going to get really in depth with the furniture cleaning and just organising how the room looks. So grab your cup of teas, get cosy. If you are just joining me and this is your first video on my channel, hello, welcome, come in, take a seat. I make three videos every single week and lots of them are like these so if you like these type of videos stick around press subscribe down below and enjoy my future videos as well this routine you see here is something I will do about one every two weeks I like to do a deep clean of my house once a week and some of that will include furniture cleaning or some of it will include floor cleaning so this week we're doing our furniture cleaning and I want to show you how I do it properly there's a lot of bacteria in your furniture and it's good not to forget to clean that area. Without further ado, let's get cleaning. Okay, so the first thing I like to do, obviously, is light some candles. At the moment, I am using a Dreamy Summer Nights candle because I am pining after summer and also my Night Jasmine candle, which is so nice, by the way. Okay, when deep cleaning my furniture, I always love to start with my sofa. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess at the moment after slobbing around last night. I will start off just taking everything off the sofa and cleaning it bit by bit. So the first corner we're going to work on is the corner we sit in the most and great timing. Last night I actually fell asleep on the sofa with a chocolate button un underneath me so that's what you can see here. So I'm hoping this cleaner will get that to stay now. So I'm just attaching my handheld rug doctor to the machine and this is what I use to now clean my sofas. Honestly, it's so good. You will notice here that the sofas become really wet when using the rug doctor. That's because it's spraying out a special detergent. This really helps to remove the bacteria and the germs and really pull up the dirt. So you yourself could spray your homemade spray of washing detergent all over the sofa and then hoover the sofa. That works kind of in the same way. I just find it's quite quick this way. As you can see, it's pulling up all that water, the dirty water from the sofa. It's honestly so satisfying. So I will go around and get all the bits we sit on and also lean on. So these cushions definitely, definitely need a clean. I know I can also put them in the washing machine, which I do sometimes. But I thought as I had the rug doctor machine out, I might as well do that via this. But honestly, I couldn't believe how much dirt sat in my sofa. Considering we sit there every single day, it's quite scary really. So I'm so happy that I managed to pull so much of the dirt out of the sofa. They just feel so clean and smell lovely now. I like to do this deep clean of my sofa once every two to three weeks because the bacteria and dirt really does build up and as I have two cats that tread all over the sofa with their muddy paws, yeah, it can get really dirty. The next thing I'm moving on to is my dining room chairs. These have a fabric seat as you can see. And obviously as we use these seats to eat on, um, so we will sit here when we eat, they can actually get really unhygienic and dirty, especially if you have children over and they're spilling the food everywhere. So I like to give these a clean again when I'm cleaning my sofa and just to keep them nice and fresh and in good condition. Another great thing to do is to air out your pillows and cushions that sit on the sofa. So I take my cushions outside and I just whack them so hard until all the dust starts coming out. It's really satisfying but also kind of gross. So once I feel confident that the sofa is fully clean and now it's just drying in the sun, I will move on to making up my detergent spray which I use to spray all over fabrics in the house. This is really good to making it long lasting smelling and I'm not going to lie, I got this tip off of Mrs Hinch and I blooming love it. So 
So now all the fabrics are taken care of, I like to get a polish wipe or just normal polish on a cloth and I polish all the wooded areas. These can get really damaged, especially in the sun and if you're using them every single day. So I like to keep it topped up with polish, especially when I'm doing a deep clean of my furniture. And I also do the same with my dining room table, but before I polish my dining room table, I tend to use some Dettol wipes or just antibacterial wipes because that can really help with getting rid of food stains and any germs that just lie there after dinner time. Okay, so I have a nest of tables that I do tend to keep clean, but if I'm doing a deep clean of the furniture in my house, I will really concentrate on wiping all of the surfaces of these tables down because we use these to balance food and drink on also. And yeah, there's splashes of tea all over them, to be honest. Okay, moving on to the bedroom. The next piece of furniture I tend to give a deep clean to is the bed. So obviously we use this quite a lot and it can get dusty. And also where we have pets, you can get pet hair all over. So I like to run over the bed frame with a handheld hoover and then spray the bed and bed frame with my antibacterial and clothes detergent homemade spray. today's speed clean i hope you enjoyed my furniture especially my sofa now feels wonderfully clean to just probably have a nap on i'm not gonna lie but it feels really nice it's such a lovely beautiful sunny day as well so i feel good about my home i will be doing another speed cleaning episode coming very very soon to this channel so if you're not already i would love it if you could subscribe down below and just join my wonderful youtube family i make three videos every single week i love you very much and i will see you again very very soon bye, bye.